Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to check your gear ratio of your vehicle. We're going to be using this uh, Jeep Wrangler as an example, but this will work on any it's car. It's an old. It's old. It's old. It's <laughs> almost a classic. But it so goes, so we, we actually really like it for our son. But we're going to show you how to check your gear ratio. Just using some, uh, we're going to use this uh, painter's tape, but you can use whatever you want to mark your wheel and your act and your drive shaft. So y'all stay tuned and we'll get into this. We're looking at the Jeep tire and we have to lift the off the off the ground. If your vehicle is posi track, you want to lift both tires off the ground. This is a single a single spinner, so I only have to lift one because um, the diffs aren't connected together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to use the jack I used from Get Jacked. To lift this Jeep up. Yes, I could use a floor jack, but this is so much easier. And look at there, it's off the ground. Yay! So once you have your tire jacked up high enough where it will freely spin, and uh, if it's a single spinner, you can only do you only have to do one side. Posi track jack up both sides. So get your jack stands out. You'll want to put tape on the drive shaft and you'll want to put tape on the tire to mark the tire uh, so you can count the number of rotations so right there i'm going to put my tape on this cleat and then all you do is you spin the tire two rotations and you count the number of turns to the drive shaft So that's all you have to do is spin the tire, count, spin the tire twice, count the rotations of your drive shaft, which ours is four, and a little over four, and that gives you your ratio. Now your ratios, like on this Jeep, are gonna be things like 353, 373, 410, 456, 488. So this Jeep has a 410, which is what it came with factory. We are going to look at, maybe because it has larger tires, going with a deeper gear to give us that extra power, which would oh, be... Oh! You just talked about a Christmas present! <sighs> don't say anything. Yeah, don't tell. But, yeah, so 456, 488 would be like on your bicycle when you're going down in that really uh, small gear. Yeah, you have those mountain bikes yes. and you like do the gear Great number one and you just pedal really fast. Yeah, and you're not getting anywhere. Yeah. That's this. <laughs> it's, a, it's the same concept, except this one has an engine so you don't have to pedal. You just push the gas pedal and you go. Well, it doesn't go over 50 miles. Well, it's because the engine in this, in this uh, Jeep is a 2.5 liter. And with these tires, these are 32 inch tires and it doesn't have the power and torque necessary to turn this Jeep and, and, and the tires. If it had enough power, this thing could do, you know, with this gear ratio, pretty darn fast. Um, BB, our truck, has 35 inch tires. I mean, <laughs> But it has a V8. Right. So it has plenty of power to spin the tires and break them loose. So hopefully this was helpful for you, and uh, you look at your ratios. Now the ratios are going to have a sparse spacing, so you don't have to be exact. So if you spin the dry, if the, you spin the tire two times and you come up with three and a half, that's probably a 3.5 something ratio, depending on the, the model of vehicle you have. So you can look up all the gears 
that came with that vehicle. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. Looks something like this. If you like our channel, subscribe. We try to make uh, all kinds of different videos, reviews, how-tos. Um, we're restoring a boat right now, so check that out. And recipe also, teasers is what we're calling them. Yes. They're not videos. They're well, they are a video, but they're not. You know, teaching you how to do the recipe. They're a teaser. They show beginning to the end. To the end, but it's just short segments to show you what the meal would look like as you're cooking it through the phases. Right. And if you want the full steps, check out our blog. And I leave the blog links for the recipes down below. So you can easily go and click on that recipe link for that teaser you like and know how to cook it. I, I even cooked the juicy turkey. And I'm guys, very informational on my pictures. I really show you how to, uh, what each step looks like. I try to be very informational. So. I'm not just a picture and then the recipe. I want to show you what each step looks like. So after you get done with the gear ratios, you can go out and cook a meal and fuel, because you'll need fuel after doing this. Because you look at me, I'm pouring. Well, I don't know if you want to make a meal after that. It's, but but I, I would. I even cooked the juicy turkey, and I did all by myself until I went and mowed the lawn and she did all the basting and stuff. But I... I, I, I was going to say he did not do it all by himself. I had the I, gist of it done. I understood it and I could burn water, guys. So, if I could do it, these, these, these instructions are easy. Because I can't cook. I, so, as I said, subscribe, like this video, hit the little bell for the ad reminder, and y'all please take care.